Hey guys, welcome back to The Dev Show. I'm here today with Kevin L. Johnson. Kevin was on the show over a year ago promoting Ozark Season 3. Now Ozark Season 4 Part 1 is out. It was absolutely awesome, and we're here promoting that today. So, Kevin, how are you? Hey, dude. Thanks for having me back. Uh, I'm good. Right on. No, I'm, I'm super excited to have you back. I'm glad that you decided to come back. It's awesome to have returning guests, and uh, I'm especially excited to dive into Season 4 of Ozark because uh, I wait a little bit to do the interview. That way I can kind of talk a little bit more about the events of the show than some other interviews may. Um, but before I get started in that, I wanted to start the interview off with a couple fun questions that I had in my mind. While I'm sitting here setting up for the interview, I put on some music. I put on music, jam out, and get in the mood to start the interview. Would you walk me through what a day in the life of Kevin on Ozark is when you're on set? What's that like for you? What's your jam? What's it like? Oh, wow. Um, so usually early in the morning, get there, get to the trailer, usually bacon and eggs uh for breakfast um yeah just chilling in the trailer waiting to you know go into hair makeup come back get dressed and get you know ready to go and then i'm usually listening to uh like tyler childers uh chris stapleton ava brothers mumford and sons that's kind of right been on. my my jam lately yeah right on and so Ozark season four, I say, brought its A game. I thought that it was absolutely awesome. We did get to see Sam in a few episodes there. And Sam is really, has really become such a pawn to the birds. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it like when you were first handed the script and you got to see what was in store for your character for this half, this half of this season? Yeah, um... So before each season, uh, I usually have a chat with uh, with our showrunner, Chris Mundy. So I knew going in to the first half uh, what they had in, in mind. Um, so, yeah, I was uh, I was wondering, you know, the way season three ended. I was like, is uh, is Sam going to change alliances? You know, like is uh, what's going to happen here? Um so that was uh that was fun getting um getting to go work uh with Ruth again uh mm -hmm. at the Lazy O. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, in the last couple episodes there where you're dealing with Wendy coming in and going into Jonah's private private affairs now. Um that was really interesting to me and the fact that she told you don't not to tell Jonah. Um <laughs> And of course, Whoops. but you did, you almost, almost did a good job at that. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I had some friends telling me like, come on, Kevin, you, you totally threw Wendy under the bus. Uh, hey, you know, but he was, he had no idea what was going on. And he was like, hey, yeah, my mom, I wish my mom helped me out with schoolwork too, you know? Yeah. And, <laughs> Jonah's like, huh? What? Yeah. So it's whoops. awesome. So, and I mean, there's a lot of different bouncing around for your character in this season, going from the casino to the lazy O. What was it like shooting with Julia? And you have more one on one time with uh, with Jonah as well. And uh, so, what was it like doing the the table reads and stuff like that? Uh, well, we didn't have a table read um, for uh -huh. uh, this season. And I think we only, we only did a table read for the first season. Um, really? Yeah. But it was, uh, it was cool getting to work with Skylar for the first time because we'd never had any scenes together. So we got to, you know, work on a little scene together. That was fun. Um, and then, you know, since I was running, I was the manager uh, at the Lazy O, I got to interact with, with different characters, like new characters. So that was cool. Um, like getting to interact with, uh, with Carrie Stone played by, uh, Eric Linden. Um, yeah, that was fun. The whole pa paella bit that we did, that was a blast. Um, 
and it was really cool getting to work with him because I had seen him on like for all mankind uh and another another space show like during the pandemic so i was familiar with them so it was cool getting to work with him and sam is supposed to kind of be in awe of this guy because he's like a celebrity chef yeah yeah and he's and he's trying to get the girlfriend back so you know that's where the whole paella thing comes into play but i was like if this guy's a fan of this guy then I just, I've always been told to dance with the date that brung you, you know? I mean, it's just uh, like, I have seen this guy on TV during the pandemic and I was happy that I was going to get to work with him. So it was easy to kind of, you know, use that in my objectives and strategies and things uh, when getting to work with him. Yeah. So that was cool. Were there a lot of restrictions on set the time that you were filming? We had a we had a mask. You had to have a mask on unless you were one of the actors and you were and you were uh, you know on set. Mm-hmm. But then the you know then everybody got vaccinated. So if you were vaccinated, at one point you didn't have to wear a mask outside. And then that changed when we found out from the CDC that you know just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you can't give somebody COVID or still get it Mm -hmm. yourself. So then you had to have the mask back on. Um, But we did really, really well, uh, you know, making sure that there were no crazy um, like shutdowns because of the, you know, like outbreaks. Like we were really good at that. Uh, I want to know what you thought as a fan of the show, when you first saw the show, what were your reactions to let's say the last episode there where uh, some people got uh, some things coming to them. (laughs) Oh man. Uh, Wow. So I make sure not to read the scripts um, other than what's going on with my character. So I like to go in, I like to go in fresh and I saw all the episodes um, and I accidentally found out about, are you going to put like spoiler alert kind of big spoiler alerts? Yeah. Okay. So I accidentally found out about Wyatt. So I oh, knew yeah. that going in to watching it, that he was eventually going to get whacked. Um, had no idea about Darlene. That was a surprise. I kept thinking, watching the episodes, that Darlene was going to kill Wyatt. I thought she was going right. to feel betrayed when he went behind her back and went to Charlotte, you know, um, in that one episode where he's like, Oh, I'm going to go, you know, get you a custard or something. And he comes and he goes to talk to Charlotte comes back. And she's like, where's my custard? You know, like he didn't, that, that wasn't what he was getting. So I thought that she was going to kill him with a shotgun. Um, That was the way it looked like it was setting up, but man, big, bad hobby Mm -hmm. at the end of the, at the end, he's, he, he doesn't play around, man. Um, so once Darlene was like, I thought he was going to kill Wyatt and leave Darlene. Like I had no idea about Darlene. So that was a right. surprise. Um, but yeah, so. When that happened and he shot Darlene and I saw Wyatt there sitting so, so in shock and he's so like back and forth with his emotions. I'm like, oh man, oh, are you going to, are you, is he, and then boom. And then he did it right, right in the forehead. I was like, wow. Wow. Yeah, because then he, he said, I'm sorry, whoever you are, or something like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh man. And then but dude, like, like the way like Julia's performance in that final scene was insane. Was gut wrenching, like just like guttural, like that when she said yeah. kill me, like it was just you'll have to kill me. And you know, yeah. it's just She's a powerhouse, man. She's yeah. She's amazing, amazing. And it was her birthday uh, yesterday too. So, happy right, birthday! Yeah, happy mm-hmm. birthday. When I, when I was watching it, I did notice because people get so angry, but I was waiting to see somebody just like scream and like use all of their vocal cords and and just kind of screech. And when she did that and she started yelling at Marty, I was like, "This is." 
gold. This is awesome. And now there's so much confusion with her and her emotions and mm -hmm. with the lazy O. What do you think that this could mean for Sam? I don't know. We'll you don't know. See. <laughs> I'm I'm intri I'm uh I can't wait for people to see the second half though, man. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I know it's very limited in, in what you can say, but um Yeah. But man, oh man, this is uh, such a pivotal point for everybody. Like the like they said, nobody gets out clean, right? So mm -hmm. I'm hoping Sam does. I mean, Sam should. Sam deserves to. <laughs> We'll see. It's such a, it's such a complicated <laughs> part. It, it, like it's a complicated wave of releasing things with the with the first part and then the second part. So all the press after the first part, you all know what's gonna happen, but you kind of have to keep tight lip about it, just like mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield had to when uh, when all the Spider Man oh, stuff was going so down. Was yeah, Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, remember, I I uh, I only know what happens with my character. Right. So I have all the I have all the scripts on my laptop, but I just I I could see how the whole thing ends, but I don't I, I refuse to I refuse to read it. That's I want to awesome, be man. I want to be yeah I want to be excited just like everybody else. That is awesome because a lot of people you know they read the scripts. It's just how it's just how it goes, and the fact that I, that you don't read what's not your character I actually find really really interesting. Um, I hope that you enjoy the second part of season four. I know that uh, I'm super amped for it. Everybody is. I have my brother texting me, you know, what are you watching season four? Are you watching season four? It's like, they just shot the sheriff. I'm like, I'm like, stop, stop talking. I haven't started it yet. Um, but Kevin, besides Ozark in your own life, uh, are there any personal projects? Is there anything that you're starting to work on yourself? At the end of Ozark, I was working on a new show, uh, Florida Man, which is going to be on Netflix as well. And Jason is one of the executive producers. So I worked on that in Wilmington, North Carolina, like off and on for a couple weeks. That was fun. Um, I think if you like Ozark, you're going to like that show. It's it's, it's going to be really, really interesting. Um, so that I was fun. I not heard much about that, but I mean, Florida yeah, Man... Is yeah, always there's the headlines not, in the yeah. news. A Florida well, that's man. The whole, that's the whole kind of uh, like it's a it's a they're playing on that whole Florida man kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it stars uh, um, Edgar Ramirez and Abby Lee, and uh, Edgar Ramirez is a ex cop. Comes back to Florida to to find um, a mobster's missing girlfriend. And oh. that's played by Abby Lee. So it's a, it's a, it's a wild ride, man. It's, um, it's going to be fun. So that was yeah. cool. And then I just got done working on a uh, really cool project. Can't say anything about it yet, uh, but that should be coming out sometime this year, but it's going to be really, really cool. I, when I can yeah. talk about it, I'll let you know. It's going to be oh, good. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Kevin, thanks for joining me for this interview. Uh, I hope that we get to catch up after part two is released and yeah. discuss all of the itty-bitty details that uh, you are still yet to see. So <laughs> thanks for joining me. Thanks, Dev. And you can catch the second part of season four of Ozark on Netflix to be determined. <laughs> all right. TBD. Awesome.